In this video, we're going to talk about the definite integral and how to use it to solve calculus problems. One of the great things about the definite integral is that you don't have to worry about a plus c. Okay? You don't have to worry about some plus c constant term anywhere. And I'll show you why in just a minute. But to understand what the definite integral is, to give you a definition, it's the area under a curve from some point to another point. So for example, let's say this curve is equal to f at x then the definite integral will be written in this form. So the integral from point A to point B of f at x dx. Okay, and then essentially we would substitute in these numbers in to the integral and what that will do is it'll give us the area underneath this curve here. So what does that look like? Let's do a quick example here. But uh, for this first example, I'm going to show you why you don't need the plus c. So let's say we have a function f at x. f at x is equal to 6x squared. And we're asked to find from a to b. Okay, These are arbitrary numbers. They could be anything. f at x dx. Well, uh, that's uh, pretty simple as you know from our reverse power rule from a, the previous video. If you haven't seen that yet, I will link that to this video. But the integral for that would be, I would go there like that, okay. It's going to be 6x squared plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 plus c. And then I'm going to go from a to b. Now keep in mind, I don't need that plus c, but I'm just going to leave it there just to show you why. And then I can simplify this further to 6x cubed over 3 from a to b. Okay. Now this a to b is called an interval. Okay, just keep that in mind. And then this simplifies further to and plus c. And then this simplifies further to 2x cubed plus c from a to b. So what would that look like? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to substitute b into x here and then subtract that from another function where we substitute a into x. So here's what it looks like. So we'll have 2 times b cubed plus c minus now we're going to substitute a into this function here so 2 times a cubed plus c so if we were to simplify that and open up the brackets we'd have something that looks like this 2 b cubed plus c minus 2a cubed minus c. As you can see here, what happens is these two c's, you have a positive c and you have a negative c. And what happens is they cancel out. So we have, we're left with 2b cubed minus 2a cubed. And that will work for every definite integral. The c will always cancel out. So now let's do another example here. So let's say we're going to scroll down here. So let's say we're given a function we'll call h at x. Just block that off. In okay, case so we have a new function called h at x. And h at x is equal to x cubed minus 5. And now we're asked to find the definite integral Okay, we're asked to find the definite integral from the interval 0 to 2. Okay, h at x dx. Okay, so we're going to integrate with respect to x on the intervals from 0 to 2. Okay, so x is going to be equal to 0 to x equals 2. So what is that going to look like? Well, let's go ahead and 
solve this integral. So the integral from 0 to 2 of h at x dx is equal to the integral from 0 to 2 of x cubed minus 5. So that's this function here, dx. And then when we go ahead and actually evaluate that integral, we get, so we're going to use our re reverse power rule, and we're going to get x to the power of 4 divided by 4 minus 5x. And then once we've actually written the integral, we just write it in this notation here. So we put a line straight down the middle, or straight down the, or the right side, and we're just going to write our same intervals here. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to plug in these values. So we're going to start with 2. So we're going to plug in 2 to the power of 4 divided by 4. Okay, so we're going to plug in 2 for x minus we plug in 2 for um, this x as well. Minus 2 times 10, sorry, 2 times 5, which is 10. Okay. Minus in this, uh, we're going to plug in 0 now, okay, into x. So 0 to the power of 4 divided by 4 minus 5 times 0. And of course, what's going to happen is that's going to cancel out. So we'll have 16 over 4 minus 10 minus 0. Okay, because so this entire term cancels to 0. 16 over 4 is just 4. So 4 minus 10. And that gives us to uh, that gives us negative 6. Okay, so that would be our answer here. Okay. Now, another way to look at this too is, is this way. So remember how we have this function here. Okay. What we can do is, since it's a polynomial, we can put in this integral sign in front of each term of the polynomial. So it'll look like this. So we can also write it in this way. x cubed minus 5 dx is equal to the integral of x cubed uh, from 0 to 2 dx minus the integral okay, of 5 dx. And it's going to be under the same interval as well. And so simplifying this further, we would get this right here. So from our uh, previous here, we'd have x to the power of 4 over 4 from 0 to 2 minus 5x from 0 to 2. And then as we simplify that, we will have uh, 2 to the power of 4 over 4 minus 0 to the power of 4 over 4. There we go, minus 5 times 2 minus 5 times 0. All right, so what happens is this cancels to zero, this cancels to zero, and we're left with 16 over four. And as you know, that is just gonna be four minus, okay, five times two, which is gonna be equal to 10. And then as a result, we're left with negative six. All right, so that is the answer. So what this negative six represents is that that negative six is going to be the area 
underneath this curve here from 0 to 2. All right, so that's it. So in the next video, we're going to do a few more examples of definite integrals.